Guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the gallery back here at Barbecue. Look, with tomorrow being Easter, a little spring in the air, what better day to do a couple southern type slaw dogs? Oh, yeah, and that is coming up. All right, everybody, my name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And look, as we get rolling with the pit, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified on every time I do an upload. It is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Oh, yeah. All righty, look, so basically uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to roll a, uh, I made it last night. It's a, a coal slaw for this recipe here. One, man, it's a little bit different than the usual coleslaw, and I'll tell you, man, it is killer. I'm going to run that recipe now. I'm also planning in the, a uh, little more in the uh, spring, summer as we get going here. I'm going to do a whole show on this uh, recipe, man, because I'm telling you, it has a little twist in it than a normal slaw recipe, and man, it is killer, and it is going to be killer on these dogs. So let me roll that footage now. Guys, before we get rolling along on this slaw, Please allow me to do a, a cheap plug, right? I am an affiliate now with Dell Strong Knives, and I do have a 10% off coupon down in the description. It throws a couple shekels to the channel. And look, this is a knife that you can own for years and years and definitely cherish. Also down in the description is a, a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, they're a, Look, they're not that expensive and you can do so much with it. So uh, check that out in the uh, description. And also the uh, ratio to white cabbage and red cabbage is about 75 and 25 on the white. And look, the trick here is you definitely want a, a thinned sliced cabbage. Look, I'll leave the ingredients down below, and this is a uh, this is a slaw you're definitely going to want to make. So basically, what we got going on here is 75% white, 25% red. I'm going with about a half and a. Uh, a little less than a quarter and we're gonna go with a half a red onion that is the uh, trick I got this recipe from a uh, associate of mine that I will uh, go with nameless oh yeah so look after you uh, slice up that red onion thin well, you're gonna want to chop it up right chop 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 because you want little itsy bitsy pieces if you have a food processor, you could do it in there, just don't liquefy it. So basically, we're about 75 white, 25 red, and I'm going to go about 15 to 20 on the uh, onion. I'm going to go about a uh, about three, four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to hit it with a good dash of uh, white sugar. When I say good dash, I'm talking about maybe an eighth of a cup. We're going to hit it with some salt and we're going to hit it with some pepper. Now look, there's no real set recipe for this as it matters how much slaw you're making, but you want to mix this a day before, let it sit, and you may want to add either one of these ingredients, especially the uh, mayo, as it may dry out overnight. I'm telling you, man, this slaw recipe is to die for. That red onion just uh, just takes it to the roof, man. Especially, like I said, as it sits. Oh, yeah. Remember?
remember you can always add but you can never take out so you want to add a little bit taste add a little bit taste oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's what i'm talking about and of course no carrots necessary so look that's about it for this recipe right we got our uh we got our slaw, we got our dogs, get your uh, dog of choice. And uh, we're gonna top load on these buns here. I'll, uh, don't wanna open these up too early because they'll get stale, so I got them under wraps. The uh, master built is cruising along. We are at two, she'll get the five pretty quick. And look, my plan here is to grill these suckers. I wanna get a little brownness, I wanna get a little char, because I have a feeling the, uh, the char of the dog is going to go good with the uh, sweetness of the slaw. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look, you're going to get your uh, you're going to get your dog of choice. I'm going to go with a uh, skinless beef frank, a sabret, as I uh, show off my Dell Strong knife. And look, what I like to do with these dogs is uh, I like to make a little slits in them, as you'll see in a uh, a minute. It just fancies them up a little bit on the uh, pit. Also, I have my pit preheated at about 550 Fahrenheit because we want to cook these dogs fast and we want to get a little char on them. Like I said, look, these ain't gonna take but maybe three or four minutes. I'm gonna move them over to the uh, hot spot over there, right? I've seen my uh, roll video. We know where the hot spot is, and it's right about there. I'll leave a link up top in that roll video, that biscuit test, I should say. like a summertime dog. So look, that didn't take too long. We're gonna get these off. We'll get them in our uh, top loaded buns. And then we'll get them on the uh, board and make them up. Look, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Like I always say, we are going to rock it out this summer of 2021. I am really looking forward to it, man. I mean, look, not much needs to be said here as I build these dogs. It's a, it's straight a slaw on these dogs. And a lot of it. All right, guys, look, I got no time to waste on this one. I want to get a, uh, a little bit of heat still on those dogs, right? Because we got the uh, chilled out coleslaw, right? So I want to get into this while they're still... Oh, man. I'm going to go right here. I mean, dude, there ain't nothing wrong with this. Oh, man. 
I got nothing else to say, but welcome to summer 2021. Oh, yeah. I mean, right off the bat, the uh, coleslaw absolutely kills this dog, man. The, uh, you know, the chart of the hot dog, I knew that was going to come into play. So you get, you get a sample of that. And then immediately you get the uh, sweetness of that slaw, man. That's, uh, you know, a little bit too much bread for my liking. But, uh, you know, it's tough to get good uh, hot dog rolls this time of year. So uh, it is what it is, man. But uh, front loaded, top loaded, a nice sweet slaw with that onion in there. That is king. That is killer with the charness of the dog makes this a uh, winner. Alrighty, look, I'm gonna bow out of this one here. I got Molly sitting right there staring at me. Paper towel falls off the uh, off the table. She doesn't even move because she got her eyes on these dogs. Let me swing the uh, camera around. Oh yeah. All right, look, man, I am gonna nail these dogs. I'm gonna roll my Patreon and my YouTube join. I think I'm crooked, but so be it. I got information uh, down below to Patreon and YouTube join. I appreciate you all. It is gonna be a great 2021. Hit that subscribe button to get on board. And until next time, I will see you soon.